Carter. We've been analyzing the data you and Weaver collected from the Outsider facility. The results are... unsettling. Based on the volume of contaminant found, as well as the layout of the nation's water infrastructure, we expect... Over two-thirds of the population would have been infected within a few weeks if we hadn't stopped it. I can do the math. As it is, tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands, have been infected or exposed. It's getting harder and harder to keep the outsider threat under wraps. We can't afford to have the whole country panicking. We need to do something fast. Time to see what we got from Axis. Crud, tell me you got something useful out of the data from Axis. You better believe it. Only thing is, well, we're not sure how much a difference it'll make. Of course it'll make a difference. We didn't retrieve all that for nothing. So most of what we've learned was logistical information. Where outsiders are stationed, how they plan to advance, and so forth. Seems like that'd be a big help in a war. Sure, if we could stand against them. I mean, we'll know what towns to evacuate before they're hit, but we still can't stand up to their forces in a fight, even if we ambush them. Bullshit. I fight them all the time. Why can't everyone else? Yeah, but you're you. You've got the best weapons humanity has ever learned to use. A team of highly trained agents, and that thing on your arm. We only have so many XCOM agents, but the Outsiders have an entire planet full of soldiers. What are we supposed to do then? Just give up? Hell no, of course not. It's just that we really only have one chance to turn this thing around. Take out Origin and Mosaic. Yeah, and I can't think of anyone better suited to do it. Sorry. How are the Outsiders dealing with the loss of Axis? He was the invasion leader, so it must have thrown off some of their plans. We thought it'd be like an army losing its general, but we overestimated his importance. Seems like they're still getting commands through Mosaic. From Origin. That's why he's the next target. Yeah. Take out Origin, shut down Mosaic, and the Outsiders should be completely cut off. Suddenly, we'll have the advantage. If this mission succeeds... We're all counting on you. Good luck. What do we know about the alien homeworld? Anything about their defenses? We're pretty sure the Mosaic Corps is located just off their homeworld. If he's broadcasting commands through it, that's gotta be where Origin is. The data you pulled from Axis mentions automated security, but there was no mention of guards. Then the Avenger can get us past most of the automated systems? Exactly. You know, I really wish we had time to explore their world. Man, I'd pay anything to see that. Maybe I can get you a seat on the Avenger. <laughs> oh, no you don't. I said I'd pay anything. Not that I'd risk my life, thank you very much. What do you think about our chances? Your chances against Origin, or the chances for the whole human race? One's not happening without the other, right? Guess you got a point there. So what would you say are the chances? You don't want to know. The way people are betting, well, if you make it back, let's just say I'll be rich. Great. Glad I could help. Looks like it's time to ship off. If I come back, maybe I'll bring you a souvenir. You just take care of Mosaic, okay? Don't think I can ask any more than that. This attack is our best bet, but I won't lie to you about our chances of returning. Someone's was a nice office. Had to be. Well, I'll spend more time here than it is. I still think they're coming back. Tell me again how it happened. We were taking cover behind the crates when suddenly my mind was just full of this one idea. Over and over again. And what was that idea? Team leader is an enemy. Kill him. Over and over. He's an enemy. Kill him. But I wasn't the one thinking it. And what did you do then? I didn't do it. That's not the story I hear from forensics or from your remaining squad mate. It was my arm and my gun, but I wasn't the one who did it. I know what those bastards can do to a man. But from now on, any other teammate is only going to see you as a liability in the field. I know, sir. I'm reassigning you to base duty. Something quiet, away from the action. You'll also see the counselor three times a week for therapy and monitoring, in case there are long-term effects. Understood, sir. Thank you, sir. It's just... That wasn't me. I couldn't have done a thing like that. You're in a war. That's what we all tell ourselves. Good. You're here. I need a word. 
Angie, how are you doing with everything that happened? Axis is dead. As for Pete, I lost him years ago, Will. This was just the final goodbye. I'm sorry. Thanks. Now, let's get back to work. We don't have much time. What do you mean? We were right. This attack is the precursor for a larger one. The rest of their forces will be here in hours. A day, if we're lucky. That doesn't give us much time. No, but we can evacuate a few towns before their attack. I've sent several squads out to get started. Good work. But we still need to know how to get to Origin. Already on it. The information's been isolated, but we're still figuring out the exact coordinates. This strike sounds like it'll be a one-way trip. Maybe. I'm not going to worry about it. If we die, we die. I'm going to make sure that Origin comes with us. I'm glad we're on the same page. I've lost as much as anyone in this war, and I'll damned well be there to finish it. You find what you were looking for back there? I knew putting him down wasn't going to change much. It won't bring anyone back, but I can sleep a little easier. Thanks, Will, for giving me that chance. I want you to know... What happened with your brother back there? Well, it's okay. You were right. It had to be done. I only hope you'd do the same for me if it came down to it. If it's you, I won't have to think twice. Ah, uh, thanks. But thank you, Will. And I'm sure Pete would thank you too. There's not a lot of time. Understood. Go check on Weir for the target's coordinates. I'll be ready when you are. How can we be sure our water is Extended exposure to unprocessed delirium is believed to be a serious health risk. Take necessary precautions. So there's me, crouched down, just peeking out over cover between shots. Meanwhile, newcomers across the way. And I'm over there shouting at him, waving my arms around, trying to get him to look. A wall? That's what I'm wondering. Then I see I'm hiding behind a damn barrel full of gasoline. <laughs> that's a mistake you don't make twice. Yeah, yeah. But what's worth, that's where Percy wanted me. If it wasn't for Santiago, I wouldn't have made it back. How so? I put a shield up for him. Just in time, too. Remind me to buy those lab rats a drink for those shields. Ah, we sure could have used those back in my day. Son of a bitch with bare hands. Come on, person. Look sharp, Agent. We've got a war to fight. Hey! Hey, Agent Carter! Oh, looking good. I'd offer you a cigar, but Quartermaster says we're all out. Paul Bass is worried about the end of the world, but you seem pretty happy with yourself. Why's that? Why shouldn't I be? I was promoted to team lead. Congratulations. We need more teams out there. Every little bit helps. Yeah, well, you just wait, Carter. Maybe next time, I'll be the one they're calling a hero. I hope the agents under you are just as happy with your leadership. Ugh, they're the worst. Always getting themselves into trouble. I mean, who did I piss off to get saddled with a load like Newcomer? They might not be the problem. You're right. Might be the gear. Old Webb has probably given us junk just because he's bitter we're still out in the field. Sure, that's what's wrong. Of course. Stopping Axis wasn't about getting glory. It was about saving the world. Nice speech. Practicing that one for your medal ceremony? Listen. If we can't focus on the war, there won't be any medals, or anyone left to give them. Sure, that's why you're volunteering for the mission to save the Earth. We're all working towards the same goal. Don't blame me if I get the big missions. There's no shortage of things that need to get done. Sure, securing supplies and evacuating civilians. Can't make a name for yourself by scavenging and fleeing. No, but you can save a lot of lives. If you'll excuse me, I've got to prepare for the big mission. Sure, sure, just rub it in. The big ones? Yeah, the ones that run right at you? I can do about that. What's with the extra security? Director's order. Protecting the staff. 
God, I know the Outsiders keep advancing, but here? No, no, it's not like that. It's just... Director's order. Protecting the staff. Oh. Walker. The sleepwalker infection is now known to be spread through contaminated water reserves. Operatives and survivors are encouraged to drink only trusted sources, such as collected rainwater. Staff the Avenger. Side mission to a hostile alien. Looks like you're finally gonna get to take a ride in this death trap, huh? Wrong. <laughs> you're the one taking the ride. I get to be the one flying it. You think it's ready for the trip? It's you and the rest of the team I'm worried about. This beauty is all ready. Assuming you can help me with one last detail. You got a platoon of engineers and mechanics on this thing. What do you need me for? Everything's up and running, but we're picking up evidence of leaks in the fuel system. Problem is, they're too small for us to spot with the naked eye. Leaks? Should I be wearing a hazmat suit? Nothing that dangerous. But it could cause a fuel leak in the field. Or an explosive chain reaction. If it'll keep this contraption in one piece, count me in. But how am I supposed to help? If you scan the Avenger with that thing on your arm, you should be able to detect the leaks. Point them out to us and we'll handle the rest. That's all? Walk in the park, Barnes. Found one of the micro. Thanks. You're leaking fuel here. Okay. Now, track the pipe back to its valve, and shut that off. Looks like that one wasn't busted. Open it up and try another. You slowed fueling. Try opening that valve again and then try another. Not that one. Follow the pipes from the leak to the valve. That's all of them. That all you needed? Just the last touches, yeah. And you might be interested to know you helped the text track down a design flaw. Flaw? What sort of flaw? Nothing big enough to cause a problem. But they think they can get another two, maybe three percent efficiency out of the engine. We don't have time for a complete overhaul. No, of course not. 
but they want to try some new layouts. Might help if we ever need to make a fleet of these babies. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. That's everything we need. Run those to the director and tell him I'll meet him at the hangar. Ah, Carter. Just in time. Got our travel plans ready, Doc? Yes. I've just finished calculating the coordinates for our strike, and... and I've tested the Ven gate as well as I can, given the conditions. We won't get a second shot at this. Well then, I suppose it's now or never. That's a strange thing to hear coming from you. Sometimes the best test is a live one, Carter. We're risking it all on this, but I know you haven't let us down yet. I'll be risking my life on it too. After all, you'll need me there to operate the gates. So, the data from Axis gave you the coordinates you needed. Where do they point? Most definitely. They point to a particularly isolated point in orbit around the alien homeworld. Where exactly is the alien homeworld? It's hard to describe precisely without a star map. But it's approximately 600 light years away from Earth, in the Cygnus constellation. They're a long way from home. Planets that can sustain our kind of life are few and far between, even in an infinite universe. You've opened other Ven gates before, right? This isn't all just theoretical. Of course. You were there when Lawrence and I opened the first one. That didn't exactly turn out well. No, but it worked. And we've had success in smaller tests since then using recovered outsider technology. That's good to hear, I think. Of course, the real test will be transferring something as large as the Avenger. We'll see about that soon enough, though. Any idea what we can expect to find on their homeworld? Thankfully, the outsiders seem to have a similar environment and gravity to our own. No doubt that's why they chose Earth for their conquest. But the rest may be, as they say, quite alien. What sort of defenses would they have? The Avengers' stealth ability should get us past the toughest defenses, but... It looks like you'll have to do the last leg of the trip on foot. Just me and my squad in an alien base? Sounds like fun. Their security will no doubt be fierce, but I'm happy to say it'll be limited. They apparently try to keep Origin's location secret, so they can't garrison an entire army around it. We're gonna be relying on your work. I sure hope it makes the grade, Doctor. As do I. You're not the only one whose life is on the line. Can't say I relish the risk of dying so far away from home, but... How many scientists have a chance to see an alien world? Don't think of it as dying far away from home. Think of it as dying to save your home. Um, yes. That's much more comforting, isn't it? Please report to Director Falcon office. Agent Carter to Director Falcon. I suppose it's time. See you in the Avenger, Carter. these things to help in the field? Maybe. 
Officer, I trust the infiltrator is secure. Oh, he's been an absolute pussycat since you killed Axis. Can't tell what's gotten into him, but either way, he's secured. Strange, but I won't complain. Just watch yourself with him. Of course, sir. Vigilance is my watchword. Okay, then. And how are you holding up? Oh, that's a little more complicated. We can't afford to take chances this close to launch. If there are any security concerns, I need to know. Believe me, I know. And the entire security team is on high alert. Enemy is yet to find our location, but we've been putting in defenses to prepare for the day they do. Good to know, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Security can't afford to be optimistic in something like that, sir. I'm not sure I trust him being this quiet. He might be planning something. I don't think so. He hasn't said a word to anyone, and he's barely eaten anything. And... He's still disconnected from Mosaic. Hmm. Maybe he's sick, or... Hell, I don't know. Ever since he heard you got Axis, it's like he's waiting for something. I wonder how he'll respond if we shut down Mosaic. When, sir. Not if. I know you'll do it. I heard about your family troubles. Any improvement? Oh, Percy and his team brought my girl back, along with the rest of the family. It was nice to have a chance to talk with her, but... Fourth, the infection got too bad. I know how tough that can be, but don't worry, she's in good hands. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, my parents were staying with her. And they were drinking the same water she was. Oh. We don't know how much time they've got left. Maybe it won't even hit them, but at least they're here. I've got to get going. Of course, sir. Go and put an end to this war. For all of us. William Carter, it is you. You're not normally like this. I am not sure. I was having visions of Axis, of origin, of my people. Dreaming, huh? Perhaps that is the name for it. It has been more intense since I was disconnected from Mosaic. You mentioned your dreams. What do you see in them? My people, rushing forward like a tide on the ocean, surging across your world and building everywhere they touch. Sure sounds like your war plan. There is no stopping them. They are an endless mass, and above them all stands Origin, gleeful, turning your world into a husk, just like we did to our own. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. I know you mean to destroy Mosaic and free us from Origin, but I fear that will not be enough. But it'll make a difference, one step at a time. How are things for you here? Some of the scientists are curious and cruel. The guard, Richard Rose, he attempts to protect me. It is appreciated, but insulting to a warrior. Good to hear. We need your insight if we're gonna save our people. And convince them to accept your people as refugees. I will assist you in any way I can. What should I expect on your homeworld? Why would you need to know that? Because it's time we took the fight to them. This is a foolish thing you do, William Carter. Even the most remote parts of our home are protected. We've taken precautions. Just tell me what to expect. It has been so long since I saw my home. Decades of war on other planets, only sharing memories of what we fought for. Towers jutting into the sky, gunships patrolling every sky lane, and always poison in the air, in the water, and in our minds. I see. Pain, William Carter. You should expect pain. Get your rest. Sounds like you need it. Thank you. But the visions of your planet, perhaps 
if you can stop Origin. those evacuation orders out, and keep the agents defending the high-profile targets. Yes, sir. Understood. We'll keep everything running until you return. Your inexplicable confidence is noted and appreciated, Chelsky. Well, here's Carter now. Carter, good. I'm told that everything is ready. Yes, sir. Glad to hear it. We'll depart within the hour. That's it? Carter? No speeches? Nothing to say? This isn't the time for speeches, Carter. You know what's at stake, and you know the odds. Yes, sir, I do. I'd expect no less. I'm ready to put these bastards in the ground for good, no matter what it costs. I know. You once asked me why I chose you, despite your record. This is why, Carter. Because you're a man who will not quit, no matter what. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Prove me right. Get out there and get it done. I just don't understand. Our missions have been a success. No, your missions have been a success. If you call losing two towns and barely escaping with your objective successful. And even so, no one else has your success rate in the field. We can get more agents, better training. The outsiders are the ones with an endless stream of troops, not us. There's only one option. We've got to take the fight to them. Hasn't this origin been around for, well, forever for all we know? What if stopping him and shutting down Mosaic isn't as simple as shooting him in the head? We've made every preparation we can with the information we have. And if that's not enough, well, you've shown a talent for thinking on your feet. You're telling me to improvise? That's a change. What if we get there and I don't have the tools I need? Don't worry. I've got a backup plan. But frankly, you're the best chance we've got. Supposing we do manage to close the gates, what happens to the outsider forces on Earth? I'm leaving a detailed battle plan. It's currently being distributed to the acting Joint Chiefs. The hope is that once we've separated our world from theirs, enemy supply lines will be cut off and the individual enemy platoons will be severed from the Central Command. This ought to give our military the edge they need to finish things. Doesn't sound like you plan on being around for the cleanup. The odds of us returning from this mission are slim. No use pretending otherwise. I'm ready to go. I'll meet you in the Avenger. You know what's at stake here, Carter. And you know the odds. You've survived this long. I know you're the right man for the job. Telling this to my grandkids. How big a flight crew does the Avenger take? Who's coming with us? She can carry a small army. 
but half of that's gonna be pilots, engineers, and scientists. I don't want to hang around any longer than we have to. No way I'm holding off a charging muton while the lab rats are catching alien butterflies. Don't worry, Carter. They all know the top priority is getting out alive. What are you worried about us for? Think we're gonna make a mess in your new toy? You might. Unless you've gone through high-G training and didn't tell me. So it's gonna be that kind of ride, huh? I'll just say this. If I have to do any evasive maneuvers, you'd better hold on to your barf bag with both hands. Better load up. Just buckle up in there and I'll take care of the rest. Watch it! Unless you want to blow us all to hell, I suggest you be a bit more careful. So this is the inside of a bona fide UFO. We're gonna be relying on your work. I sure hope it makes... As do I. Don't think of it. Um... There's not a lot. And 